Hello, this video will provide the demonstration of controller-driven multicast implementation in segment routing network. Segment routing is today de facto SDN standard. It uses source routing for the definition of the path through the network. Many modern applications are moving towards unicast type of distribution from multicast. But there is still need for efficient multicast transport. Segment routing network can still use all legacy protocols like PIM, MLDP, or point-to-multipoint traffic engineering for multicast distribution. These protocols are using distributed control plane and keep in the network big operational complexity. In this demonstration, we will show new technology, which is called TreeSit. TreeSeed actually uses single MPLS label for building multicast replication tree in segment routing network. So first of all, let's take a look how TreeSeed works. We have segment routing network. Under that network, we can connect multicast senders and multicast receivers using legacy multicast protocols like PIM and IGMP. In SR network, all topology information is exchanged among routers using IGP protocol, which will be ISIS in our case. This ensures each router has full topology visibility. We need to provide the topology information to the controller. The controller in our case will be XTC, and we are using BGP link state protocol address family to give full topological view to the controller. At the other end, there is an application providing information about multicast sources like video head end and all interested parties. An application then provides that information to the controller using RESTful API. Now, controller has all the information it needs to calculate efficient loop-free forwarding tree inside the whole network. The next step is to provide each router necessary replication entries using BGP traffic engineering address family. This creates full forwarding tree in segment routing network. This is how a RESTful API call looks like. It provides the source of the tree. It provides set of destinations for a whole tree and MPLS label value, which will be used to build forwarding entries. Then it instructs controller about the method used to program entries into routers. There are many different applications supporting the REST API. In our demonstration, we have a multicast source behind router 1. At first, we tried to establish a very simple tree through the network from node 1 towards node 4. In those three windows, we are detecting multicast traffic flowing out from routers 4, 5, and 6. This is the format of the RESTful API call provided by the application to the controller. A source node is node 1 and destination is no 4, and label used here is 18001. So let's send this API call to the XTC. And here we can see that multicast traffic is flowing through the network. Well, in reality, in this scenario, there is no multicast replication in SR network. So let's try to extend this multicast stream to routers 5 and 6. This is very simple. We just extend the set of destination in RESTful API call like this. And controller will build efficient multicast forwarding tree through the network. We just need to use application to send new API call. And here again, we can see how traffic is being forwarded to all interested parties. So TreeSit is controller-driven multicast using segment routing technology. It is a very good fit for relatively static multicast environments. It supports fast convergence. And it will also support multicast VPN use cases. Thank you very much for your time. 
And if you are interested more in segment routing, you can use the web page segment-routing.net or become part of the segment routing groups on the social networks. Thank you.